And in true language, in, you can gain the respect you want to see. But then it requires mental discipline. Without mental discipline, then even if you go around like I have many students who follow Buddhism, uh, when they found a little bit improvement in their situation, either they can now function much better than before in the job situation or relationship situation, they give up the practice. Then they jump into the relationship <coughs> job. Then it doesn't last many years. Then stress takes over again. So then you really fall down. It's starting again. It takes much, much longer time. Through practicing, gains you the wisdom and the stability. Doesn't matter how successful you are. Doesn't matter how well you're going. You have to remember that the through practicing, through coming mind, through wisdom part, we are having success. We should never renounce. You should be practicing more. Yeah. The more you meditate, more often, so then you have no task of going back to the same habit. When I uh, was helping many young people, sometimes brothers, sisters, they want to become my mom or nun. There were times when father and mother were very upset with me. They think, oh, Lama Ye is brainwashing, or Lama Ye is taken away. But later on, Parents become my students, they become better than my, they, their children because they, they saw. And actually, I was teaching everything to do with the loving and caring and respecting. But it seems normally it's absolutely common sense. Common sense. I go with the atheist group. They used to say I'm an atheist. But if I have to believe, I believe what Buddha says. Because the way Buddha is not saying one is better than the other, Buddha is saying